Hey, it's me. Today I'm doing something new. I have a new idea. So let me walk you through how I arrived at this extraordinary I just touched my eyelash this extraordinary idea I was editing a little while ago and I had to dig through like a bunch of my old videos to find a small bit of footage that I desperately needed to include and I stumbled across one of my old videos opening mystery boxes uh -oh. <laughs> so the first thing I pull out is this pink bow and I was like huh that was so much fun oh. That looks like so much fun. I want to do that again. Um, the joy of opening things that you didn't pick out. <laughs> because that video brought back so many pleasant feelings from my heart. I want to open mystery boxes again, but to bring in the creativity, I'm going to take one item from these mystery boxes and paint it or customize it in some way. I have no idea, obviously, hence the mystery. I'm looking a little pale right now. Can you stop making me look pale? So I got a little out of hand. I ordered four mystery boxes and I order mine from Etsy. They have a lot of like themed boxes on Etsy, which I really like. So yeah, I'm gonna bring them on now. My stuff. You may notice that there are five boxes here when I said that I ordered four. Did I just lie to you? How do you feel? This one is actually a single mystery box. They packaged it in two packages. It's also the only one that's not themed. It's just like a general mystery box. I don't think I'm going to open all of them in one video because I don't want too many options. Either the big one today or the three little ones today. Okay, the three little ones it is. We have these two, which are both kawaii themed. They should have cute little things in them. The only thing with getting cute things is though, cute things are almost harder to customize because if they're already cute, then what do you wanna change about them, you know? This one I'm actually most excited about because it's a custom box. I don't know why quotes, Their quotes are unnecessary there. Get rid of those. There was like a little section where you can add what your preferences are and what kinds of things you enjoy and then they put together a mystery box for you. And I'll get into what exactly I requested later, but I'm gonna start with the two kawaii ones. Let me get some scissors. Oh! This one was $21.50, including shipping. The listing describes this as mystery box filled with random kawaii items. If you don't know what kawaii means, I believe it's cute in Japanese. It's like this whole style of cutesy kind of Japanese things. I'm not like a huge fanatic, but I'm an appreciator. <laughs> I appreciate it. Alrighty, I'm excited. Wow. Scissors are not doing well. They're chewing the bag. Nom, nom, nom. Cute little envelope with groundhogs. Here's your mystery kawaii box from Etsy. Hope you like it. So do I. I'm just gonna pull one item out at a time. Oh, it's food. Matcha, matcha, matcha. Can we decorate this? Probably not. I just wanna try one. It's interesting. It's like a cheese puff minus the cheese plus a whole lot of sugar. Kind of good. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, cute. Okay, this is more edible stuff. Orange flavored bubble gum. Okay, gummy candy sticker. Look at all the little different designs. They're so cute. And I'll add them to my sticker hoard. We have some sushi looking erasers. I will add to my eraser hoard. <laughs> and then we have a keychain, which is the lucky cat, which I know is a Japanese thing. I'm not <sighs> not exactly sure what the lucky cat's story is. Who is she? What does she do? Is she just lucky? I think I could customize this and make this um, kind of more my style. This is the first and only option currently. Let's hope we get a couple more. Oh, this might be cute to customize. It's cat heads and fish skeletons. Not my favorite. I feel like this person probably has like kawaii subscription boxes because those are really popular and they probably just put their least favorite items all together in a mystery box and then sell them. 
Is there anything else in here? No. So that is our first mystery box. Was it a $20 value? No. Peeps gotta make money, right? <laughs> There's gotta be some profit in there, otherwise why are they doing it? That being said, I would say this was an overall well put together box. I'm cool with this box. This one's next. All right, this one was $37. Quite a bit more than the last one. Large lucky bag includes the largest and highest amount of cute accessory items. Okay, let's see about that. What do we have here? Oh, a very pretty envelope. Very, very, very pretty. Oh, we have a swan enamel pin. That's actually really pretty. I like that a lot. Can't customize it, but I can keep it. Mm. <laughs> Quite a weird necklace. It's a clear plastic heart with like a neon pink translucent lightning bolt. I would never wear this. Why is it plastic? It's plastic jewelry, I'm not a huge fan. You know what, I will use the chain. That's fine, you're not gonna love everything. Let's keep on moving on. Ooh, <laughs> more of kind of the same large plastic pieces. Will I be wearing these? Ooh, probably not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What else do we have? We got one of these little vending machine doohickeys. Oh! Of course. A couple little stickers. Someone definitely got this from the dentist. This one is pretty cute. All right, so stickers. We love stickers here. I feel like I got these in the mystery box that I did originally. Oh, it's like a scrunchie. That's definitely not how you're supposed to wear it. Oh, maybe it's a bracelet. And I'm still confused by them. I think that they're ponytail holders. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? I mean, I guess it's kind of cute. Ow. Can't customize them, but that's okay. Oh, it's a rubber duck, but in unicorn form. Is it cute or is it just weird? Mm. Moving on. This is a hefty one, all right? Who is this? <laughs> oh boy! Kind of looks like a teething ring. Thick and glittery. Is this a piece of jewelry or a baby toy? Ow. <laughs> supposed to wear this big piece of plastic around? Oh. <laughs> no. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Is this for a child? Because this weighs more than a child. How could a child wear it? It looks like one of those toys that you like stack it and it goes up in size. That iconic baby toy. Um. Let's keep going. Oh, it's a unicorn mask. How many of these do I have at this point? I have quite a few of these unicorn masks. Because I'm seven. And we've got a pencil. I like your brains, zombie. How, how is that kawaii? A tiny, very cheap Rubik's Cube. Eh. And then finally we have a translucent bag that smells like lotion. I look like the Pope. <laughs> I'm definitely more disappointed in this box than the first one. Hello? Also, it was quite a bit more expensive and I feel like most of this stuff could have been picked up at the dollar store. There are no uh, super exciting options for customizing. For $37, I think that this could have been a lot better and still have a decent amount of profit built in. Just my opinion. There's that. So far we have two options for customizing, and we have one box left. Hey, we are having a little change in scenery real quick because I wanna show you some products and I wanna do it here. If you've been keeping up with my latest videos, then you will know that I am releasing new products every single Friday for the entire month of November. This week is no exception. So let me show you what I've got today. Starting with two pajama sets, and you know I've gotta try them on, so wham! <laughs> this one is dessert themed, so you got all the sprinkles, and drips on top and then ice cream cone shorts and side note I think these go splendidly with the Shelly and Eustace slippers also they're very comfortable the other pajama set ah. <laughs> What do you think? That was a weird pose. This set has a ton of my characters on it, kind of like in doodle form all over. It's got a rainbow coming out of the pocket. Okay, the hats, the hats might be my favorite this week. The pig with an attitude hat. It is so funny and cute and just like out there. Also have Georgie. Look at the little, 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 little. so 
freaking cute. And then also a Bumble Bear Monster beanie. It's so comfy. I think I'm gonna leave this one on. These cuties, Pickle and Cousin Derp slippers. They're very comfortable and very warm too. Yes, the fuzzy socks. We have all the fuzzy socks. We got Georgie, Cousin Derp, Pickle, and the Bumble Bear Monster. Moving along, we also have the Georgie ugly Christmas sweater. It's actually not that ugly. You know, it's the ugly Christmas sweater kind of style, but I actually think it's pretty cute. Georgie with a Santa beard. This is an awesome sweater. And finally, we have a black mug. <laughs> this is a magic mug, so it looks black until you pour hot liquid into it and then a whole little scene magically appears. So yes, I had lots to show you today. Make sure you go to the store website if you want to see everything up close and in more detail. Also, anytime you order, make sure you check your order page so you know when the item ships. Okay, and that concludes this week's merchandise show and tell. Let's get back to opening mystery boxes. This one was the most expensive box, $57. Basically, you're able to request different types of items through this mystery box. They usually do clothing. I did tell her that, you know, a clothing piece or two would be fine. Love color blocked items and things with colorful stripes as I'm wearing black and white. I told her that I love cutesy things, especially things related to food, animals. I did request nothing Disney related because I love Disney, but Disney stuff is not good for customizing because people get really upset when you like change a Disney design into something else. I also told her that I like unique, quirky, or even odd looking items that aren't super common. So who knows how she interpreted that. Let's open this one up. Here we go. A card for me. Experiencing a very strong perfumey scent. Can Betty. Oh, yay, yay. <laughs> Glitter bombs, aren't they great? Okay, so right away I do see clothing items in here. Oh my gosh. Boy, this is perfect for me. <laughs> I love this, actually. This is like my new favorite shirt. Will it be customized? No, but still, I will. you'll see me wearing it. <laughs> what else do we have in here? So it's a little pot. It says Culina. Maybe it's just the brand name. Culina may refer to the kitchen in an ancient Roman house. Uh, Culina yogurt? I wonder if there's a way that I could fill in this word or something and make use of this. What else do we have here? Oh. Ew, there's a hair stuck in it. Oh gosh, yucky, yucky. This is a salt or pepper shaker. I did say odd or unique looking items. Um, This is that. I can't even really describe it. What is this? Looks like a green pig in a pumpkin. Can we do anything with this? Let's keep going. <laughs> oh no, it's the other one. Oh gosh. It's just so specific. I feel like there's really no way to change it. Have this. Okay, so it's like a kind of platter. It looks like a big old soap dish. And the last item is another shirt. This is a fine shirt. I'm cool with the shirt. Oh, there's one more thing in here. Surprise. Oh, that's where the perfume smell is coming from. Oh. So it's definitely not cutesy stuff. Yes, I did say animal or food themed. A food of some sort, an animal of some sort. Even though these are not things that I would have picked, I definitely get where she was going with trying to follow the prompt that I gave her. They are odd. I am really happy with the shirt. <laughs> Three boxes later, and I think that this is all the options as far as things that we can customize. This one, I kind of don't feel like figuring out how to cover up the words, so I'm gonna eliminate that one. This one, I feel like is just too boring when we have other options that are more interesting. This one, I feel like because the seeds are raised, that really does limit my design choices. I'm gonna go with the smallest of of them all the keychain. It may not be the one that you would have picked, but this is the one that I pick for today. I'm honestly not sure what to do with all the things that I don't really like. Does anyone want a massive pickle themed soap dish? 
get it here. This makes me now more curious about what is in those two massive boxes. I wonder if those will be any better. Either way, I'm gonna customize this now. So let's switch gears into that. Okay, so finally we get to this little dude. Have I spent 14 minutes of this video just opening boxes? Yes, yes I have. So let's do something creative now, shall we? First thing, I wanna cover the current design using some gesso. You know, I got nothing against Lucky Cat, but he must die. He's not very lucky today. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Once I've got that all covered, I gotta come up with my new design idea. Obviously, this already has a very specific shape to it, so I decided to trace around it in my sketchbook sketchbook. That's right, that's two times. So that I could brainstorm some ideas that will fit nicely in this shape. Pretty much right away, I realized it looks just like a chipmunk holding an ice cream cone. Obviously. So I drew that and figured out where I wanted everything and how I wanted it to look. My plan was to come up with several different ideas and then choose, but um, need I continue? I mean, come on, we all know this is the one. So here I go on the real thing. It was a little bit tricky because the curve of the ice cream cone needs to follow the shape of the keychain, but then that lands the other side of the ice cream cone right over his face. I kinda had to work with like half of his face being covered by an enormous scoop of ice cream. But once I got everything in position and lightened up those pencil lines, I'm gonna go in for the color using my precious Poscas, and from there it was easy. I just, uh, you know, breezed on through. Breezed on through. I just did the coloring thing. I, I think we all know if you want to get your money's worth, don't buy mystery boxes because it's usually a bunch of cheap stuff. People trying to make a quick buck, and you're probably not gonna like a good amount of it, especially if you're being picky. So they're definitely not that practical, but they are fun. And since I have an excuse to incorporate them into a video idea, I get to do it. I did glaze this with some regular varnish, but then I decided that I wanted something a little more. I want to get a little fancy. So I got out my dimensional magic, which you can't read because I had to tape over it for a sponsorship a while ago. Just picture it, and this stuff is basically like the baby cousin of resin. You can get a little bit more protection and that kind of bubble look, but you don't have to worry about the chemicals. It does take forever to dry though. Once that was done, I flipped it over. Oh, oh. I decided to just put my signature on there and throw a bunch of little polka dots, kind of like the sprinkles on the ice cream cone. I feel like I should have made the back pink to match the ice cream. It would have looked more finished and more cohesive with the front, but clearly it's too late. Oh, well. You always realize these things after the fact. Here is my completed chipmunk keychain. I love him. <clears throat> Ew. This was quite a simple project this week. I hope you don't mind. I really just wanted to have fun and do something different, you know? It, it keeps me sane. Well, somewhat sane. Sanity is relative. So I really enjoyed making this video and painting my simple little chipmunk keychain. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.